Hello, my name is Dara Murphy and today I will be talking to you on how in this modern world everyday people are using virtual reality as a form of escapism. I chose this topic because I have great interest in virtual reality and how people utilize it, with escapism being one of these ways. So let's begin. Just to begin, I will give you a quick overview of what I will cover in this presentation today. Firstly, I will give an explanation of what exactly escapism actually is. Then I would like to give you an insight into the good and the bad sides to virtual reality. Then I will go through why people want to escape and its negative effects. And finish on my final opinion of escaping in virtual reality. So what exactly is escapism? Escapism is the tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. These entertainments can be reached through the use of virtual reality, and I will talk about some of these throughout this presentation. Looking at the good, non-escape side to virtual reality, and we have the Vanderbilt VR, a virtual reality headset comprised with driving simulation technology. It is designed to help teens with autism learn how to drive. The driving difficulty and scenarios can be adjusted to suit the driver's ability. Immediate feedback is always given back to the driver and the instructor. The technology can gather information on how each driver reacts different to different situations. Each driver can drive in a different area, also such as downtown, residential, industrial and arboreal. Blood pressure, skin temperature and response to brain waves and respiration are also monitored. All of this is to make the environment and experience more suitable for the driver. Then you have the bad side to virtual reality and the effects it can have on your health. Prolonged use of, virtu of the virtual reality headset can lead to headaches, eye strains and nausea. People who have sensitivity, sensitivity to adrenaline could find the experience overwhelming as well as people with heart conditions. People may also may know they, have, they do not have these conditions until they are in the experience. So why do we escape? As humans, a lot of us have everything we need in life and some of us don't. But what are we escaping from and why do we do it? Why do we use virtual reality as a method of doing this? Over the next couple of slides I will discuss different reasons why people escape from reality and how this is impacting them as human beings and their general day to day lives. After a long stressful day at the office there is nothing more than what than a person wants is to sit back and relax in front of the TV or with a book. Others choose virtual reality. A virtual reality second life can replace the real life for some people and who is to say a person's virtual life cannot be better than their real one if they can achieve what they want in reality if they can if they cannot achieve what they want in reality on a darker side people just want to get out of reality because they just can't deal with it people have become addicted to escapism they totally withdraw themselves from reality because they simply do not like where their life has become or where it is going simple life attractions don't do anything for them so they seek a new life and different feelings and experiences from virtual reality People who struggle with everyday interactions can find comfort and solace in a virtual world and they can, they can even find love and a relationship. They can construct a new image of themselves, maybe one they wish they could be in reality and use this to bond with people online. Because of this they will feel more confident and attractive. People don't have the motivation to make their own lives better. This is very true. Many people in today's world work to live and go through the same routine every day of their lives. Many of us are unmotivated and are simply too lazy to do anything about it. But that's the modern world I suppose. Virtual reality gives the people that release for a period of time that they love so much. People refuse to look at their own lives and see where they are and where they are going. Self-examination can be seen as a scary thing because they don't want to believe the truth, especially if their life isn't what they hoped it would be. That's where VR can come in and give them the release of a new life. A life where they have control of what happens. I will now look at the negative aspects of escapism and through ex excessive and non-excessive use can affect a person's life. It's not all about the immersive experience that virtual reality but the effects it has on a, on a person's life after you use it. From social anxiety to depression to ex expectations of life which a person won't reach. Social isolation can be a very real thing for people who seek escapism. Their withdrawing us from social situations and activities can lead to them being lost in the world. They feel out of place and lonely, again seeking escapism to escape their feeling. It is very important for someone to return to reality quite fast to ensure they do not find themselves 
in this situation. Escaping into virtual reality gives a person a whole new experience that they never had before. Therefore, when they go back to reality, they have great expectations for their life. When they realize their life isn't living up to these expectations, they lose interest and their goals and aims are forgotten about. They forget the virtual life isn't a real life. When a person's life isn't living up to these expectations, they can become depressed about their situation. They can develop AVPD, Avoidant Personality Disorder. Feelings of unwantedness, anxiousness, isolation follow this, which lead to a person into the depths of despair. People then use fantasy virtual reality as a form of escapism to interrupt their painful thoughts. When people are constantly immersed in a virtual reality environment, they can become very inactive and exercise becomes irrelevant to them. Weight gain and a general physical deterioration can then follow. As the people are so immersed in their escapism, they don't take any notice or they don't care what is happening to their bodies. Escapism isn't just mentally destroying, it's physically too. As people immerse themselves in their new world where they are completely happy and in control, they never want to leave it. Coming back to reality is a major disappointment to them, making their actual life a disappointment too. What they achieve in fantasy may not be achievable or realistic in real life. Being the person and having the life you have in virtuality may never compare to your actual life. So in conclusion, my final opinion on escapism and its place in our lives. Everyone needs to escape from reality for a period of time to relax and unwind. This is normal and good for you, good for your well-being. It is when you are emotionally insecure and use escapism to mask the pain and disappointment of the failures, dislikes and insecurities in your life. It's when escapism becomes a problem. For a lot of people, they see the thought of escape to escape just too exciting and they don't see the danger in the future. It is very important for a person to know when to return to reality. But as escapism seems so normal, the mind must have a need for it. And it does. But only for a period of time. Your mind too must return to reality before it's too late.